So what exactly is card counting? Simply put, it's a system that helps you keep track of already dealt cards and determine the ratio of high value cards to low cards remaining in the deck. Doing so will allow you to make better informed decisions, like when it's best to adjust your bet size, hit, stand, double down, or split. Although it is heavily frowned upon in casinos as it improves your odds overall, so much so that if you're ever suspected of it, you could be asked to leave the casino or even be included in the persona non gratis list in the process, it is not cheating. Now, how does one actually count cards? As you already know, high cards in blackjack are defined as tens, face cards, and aces, which benefits your score far more than the lower value numbers. When high cards remain in the deck, it increases the likelihood of getting a strong hand or landing a blackjack. On the contrary, when there are more low value cards left, it favors the dealer. So there are several card counting systems out there, but since this is a basic tutorial, we're only gonna be going over the high-low system and the KO or knockout system. The high-low assigns a value of plus one to low value cards that are two to six, a plus zero to neutral value cards, which are seven, eight, and nine, and a minus one to high value cards, tens and aces. As cards are dealt, keep the total by adding or subtracting when they're revealed. Then you're gonna need to calculate the true count by dividing that number by the number of decks in the shoe. So in theory, the higher the true count, the higher the odds of getting a high value card as a lot of the low value cards have already been dealt. The knockout system or KO system pretty much works the same way, but opts to lump seven in with the low value cards that net plus one. Remember, card counting is not a foolproof path to winning, but it can severely increase your chances of making a profitable decision. If you decide to use it, practice a lot. As modern casinos use six decks in the shoe, or sometimes even use auto shufflers, making it almost impossible. And if you lose count, just rely on basic strategy to get you through that round. Wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.